what's going on guys. Uh, today in this video I'm going to talk about uh, uh, my review and a review of uh, Equestria Girls 1 and 2 and the prediction of Equestria Girls 3. Now, let's go, let's, let's go with the, uh, the review, starting with Equestria Girls 1. In Equestria Girls 1, I pretty much like the film. Uh, this character right here, uh, if you guys can see, um, is uh, Sessa Shimmer. Um, she, she does play as, she plays as the main antagonist in the first film, which prevents Twilight from getting, getting uh, her crown. Sessa Shimmer stole uh, Twilight's crown because she just, she just wanted it. And, um, she succeeds in, in the stealing crown. Um, let's let's go over how. And uh, to be to be precise, um, to be precise, uh, this is what this is what Sansa Shimmer looks like. This is what she looks like, and um, she she does play the main antagonist. Uh, she tries to prevent Twilight from taking from t getting her crown back, and uh, dr and there was this uh, what's called a fall formal. In that fall formal, um, in which um, in which Twilight uh, in which Twilight gets uh, signed up, she tries to win the crown, and. Um, when, when Spike, which is my favorite character, got kidnapped, um, this led to Sansa Shimmer turning into a devil. And uh, this is what she looks like. Um, if you got, uh, I don't know if she's either a devil or a demon when she wears uh, when she wears the crown. So I could show you that. Um, so here goes nothing. So yeah, this is what she looks like. Uh, uh, let me put it in full screen so you guys can see. This is what she looks like. I don't know. I don't know if she's either she's either a devil or a demon. Uh, I just called her a devil. So just let me know in the comments below. And after the defeat of Sunset Shimmer, she started to change. And um, I pretty much I pretty much liked it when she changes. And uh, so that's so that's the review of uh, Equestria Girls one. In the in the sequel of uh, Equestria Girls, uh, Sunset Shimmer plays as the protagonist. And uh, first time I see these, and um, I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you something about um, the the new main antagonist. And uh, I hope I have a strong stomach. Okay, so I'll just uh, put it full screen so you guys can see. Now, uh, let me let me get let me get the image bigger so you guys can see. Uh, let me find a bigger image so you guys can see. So yeah, uh, these these uh, these girls are the main antagonists called the Dazzlings. Uh, first time I first time I see these girls, it um, really freaks me out. I mean, I like the way they look, but not the way they act. 
I mean, it, I mean, when I saw those when I saw those pendants, if you guys can see, uh, wearing those pendants, I feel like um, I feel like um, um, I feel like it's really gonna freak me out. And um, on, and uh, I what made me really happy was that one character is immune to the spell because um, she wears headphones. So uh, anyone protecting their ears, uh, either earplugs or headphones or anything like that, are fully immune to their spell. And when I say immune, that means resisting. And uh, in the second film, I started to hate all the characters. Um, in the end, I still hate them. And uh, the reason why is because uh, uh, these these girls called the Dazzlings, with um, which is uh, that one girl right here, one girl reminds me of a car. And if you don't know what car what is, I'll show it to you right now. That's the car, and the reason when I when I when I was reading on the wiki, I uh, I just got I just saw that um, this girl right here, Sonata Dusk. So I'm pretty sure she reminds me of a car, which is that. Now, uh, in the end, I, I like the musics, uh, and uh, pretty much like it all, and. Uh, Uh, yeah, in the end, I still hate them. In the end, I still uh, hate all the characters except for the main six. Uh, you know, Scratch is the. If you did, if you if you don't know what she looks like, I'll, I'll show it to you right now. If you guys don't know what she looks like, I'll show it to you right now. So yeah, that's uh, that's the one. I like I like this character. Uh, I like this character a lot. Uh, I still hate the other characters except for the main six, uh, which is um, which is Twilight and her friends. Um, and this and this character, then I'll scratch, uh, Spike, and such a Shimmer. And um, I like these. I, I, st um, I still like them, but the other characters I still hate them. If they make a Quest for Girls three, then that would uh, make me really like all of them. So that's that's it for Equestria Girls two. Now for the prediction of Equestria Girls three. I'm. Uh, I have a really good prediction for Equestria Girls Three, and it's it's uh, something they should have added. Um, in Equestria Girls, in, in, in when they're gonna make Equestria Girls Three is uh, when they're gonna make the season five of My Little Pony, and um, what they should have added was. Um, uh, what they what uh, what uh, they were gonna add was that um, if the if the dazzlings are gonna make uh, another is is gonna make a second is gonna make a second appearance then uh, um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be really good and I'm so excited that they're gonna make a quest for, that um, if they're gonna make a quest for girls three I'm gonna I'm gonna start to like all the characters but um, uh, but let me know let me know in the comments below. About um, about if they're gonna make a Quest for Girls three, just uh, uh, just to be precise. And um, Equestria Girls three 
uh, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, the human version of Twilight, the not the human version of Twilight, the counterpart of Twilight, is gonna be playing as the main antagonist, and um, and uh, a favorite film studio of mine should have been added to the film. It should be should be uh, with, should be like partnering with the film because uh, in My Little Pony, it's created by Hasbro. And um, I really, I really like it if Hasbro is going to be partnered with this uh, film studio. Twentieth Century Fox, and it's really, I really like this film studio. They, they got really lots of uh, computer, computer animation, and um, and uh, and really good uh, action. If uh, if Hasbro partners with if Hasbro is with Twentieth Century Fox in making this film, then that would make me that would make me like like the movie, and uh, I was trying to get the uh, I was uh, and um, I was like I was like really good, and uh, I'm so excited about Equestria Girls three. Um, this film studio should be. Uh, this film studio, I like it when they're involved in making it, because in Equestria Girls One, um, I in Equestria Girls One, uh, I was I was I was predicting in my mind that uh, this this film studio is going to be involved. Uh, in Equestria Girls One, they use this uh, they use this because um, it's the first uh, for the second and the third. Um, this this would be this would be a good one, and. So that's uh, that's that's my prediction, and uh, in Equestria Girls two, uh, what they should have added was to make to make me like uh, like uh, Celestia to make me like uh, re like Celestia and Luna after they've been freed from the dazzling spell is that they should have added this one like uh, after after das after the dazzlings got defeated and uh, the rain booms uh, went to the stage, uh, this is what they should this is what Hasbro should have added and to my thoughts 20th century fox uh, this is what hasbro should have added in equestria girls 2 uh, they should have added like um like uh, celestia and luna climbing up the stairs and then uh, announcing the winner like um like celestia would be celestia uh, principal celestia would be like uh Microphone, and she'd say this like, the winner of this year's musical of the showcase is. Uh, well, before before she announces it, um, she takes a vote with her sister Luna, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure they should have added that. Like once they once they make a vote, they they climb they go up the stage, and then um, and then they'd say. And then um, Celestia and Luna would be in the stage, and Celestia would say, "The winner of this year's musical of the showcase is," and she'd say, when she when she looks at her clipboard showing the showing uh, the votes they've had, they'd say she'd say, "The rain booms," and then all the all the students would start cheering like, "Oh, in joy," and um, yeah. And they win some kind of trophy, and uh, Trixie, Trixie would be like um, they. I like I like it when they added Trixie on it because uh, Trixie plays as the secondary antagonist. Uh, I still hate her. And um, yeah. And another part of and if they're gonna and in my prediction for Equestria Girls three is that uh, 20, uh, I, I was hoping 20th Century Fox is going to be involved because uh, I was thinking they have really good like uh, action, uh, computer action films. And um, in Equestria Girls 3, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that the counterpart of Twilight is going to be playing as uh, the main antagonist plus uh, the counterparts of Spike. And... Uh, I'm I'm st I'm hoping that uh, in Equestria Girls three there's gonna be uh, shining ar shining armor and um, 
Princess Kate is uh, in the film as humans. And I'm so excited of how they look. So, uh, that's, that's, um, that's what I was uh, trying to think about. And uh, I'm hoping that if they made the season 5 of My Little Pony, uh, season 5, they're, they're, they're still doing it. Uh, they are they are doing a trailer of season five, and I'm hoping they're gonna make a quest for Ghost Three along with 20th Century Fox plus the new characters plus the new main antagonist. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.